This slide defines two new functions that are associated with the beta distribution. The first such function is known as the beta function and the second such function is known as the incomplete beta function. First of all, look at the first existence condition for a probability density function and what that says is that for a continuous random variable the integral over the support, which in this case is from 0 to 1, of the probability density function, there's the probability density function of the beta distribution, dx equals 1. Well, if you take this constant with respect to x and you pull it out front of the integral and then divide through by the constant, you wind up with this expression right here. Well, this right-hand side, which is, of course, defined in terms of this integral or these gamma functions, is known as the beta function. And it is b of alpha and beta is the gamma of alpha gamma of beta divided by gamma of alpha plus beta. So that's one thing that's been defined and that is the beta function. Now the second thing is if you try to find the cumulative distribution function of x which is a beta random variable you will get the integral from 0 to x of the probability density function f of w dw and it turns out that this does not have a closed form solution over the uh, support 0 to 1. So if you were to ignore the constant out front, and here is that constant, if you were to no ignore it, then this would be known as the incomplete beta function. So when you are trying to calculate probabilities associated with a beta random variable, for example in R with the p beta function, that routine will call the incomplete beta function to calculate its probabilities.